Apple Notes is much more than just a simple notes app. In this video I will show you 15 exciting and often overlooked functions that you should definitely know about Apple Notes. Did you know that you can save YouTube videos directly in the Notes app and watch them right inside the app? For that we go under the YouTube video and share and choose the Notes app. Then we click on save and now you will find the video saved here and can watch it directly in the Notes app. But this also works with every other website. Here under the paperclip symbol you will find the option to record an audio and you can even transcribe what was said and create a whole summary at the end. That is useful for class or when you are working on a project with colleagues. Folders will help you to structure everything neatly. We create folders here and give them a name. We can make these folders even smarter by adding tags or filters. We have a very large selection between different filters such as created on, mentions or notes with attachments. So, for example, you could create a family folder where all notes go in which you mention your family or notes with attachments. For every folder, we can also create subfolders by clicking on three dots at the top right and clicking on add folder. If you have a current important note, you can pin it by swiping left and tapping on the pin symbol. This way you can find your most important notes easier. If you want to search for a note, you can do that in the search bar. You can search for words, dates or pictures, shared notes, checklists and many more. This is quite practical for a specific note directly. If you want to search directly for pictures or files, click on the three dots at the top right and on show attachments and all photos and videos, scans and websites will be shown to you. I think most of us save important things like passwords in notes and these should not just be accessible unprotected in the notes app. Therefore we press a bit longer on the note and choose lock note. Now your note is protected and you can unlock it with face ID. You can also link another note inside a note. For that, select text that should serve as the link, tap on add link and then search for the desired note. Or to link a website, we do not just paste the URL. Instead, we select a meaningful word and go to insert. After that, we can click on this word and will be taken directly to the website. If you prefer to use Apple Notes with lines or grids, you can set that in the settings app under notes. Here you choose what should be the default template for your notes. With drag and drop you can insert different content into your notes. Emails, music, folders from the files app or even addresses from the maps app like for example a restaurant you want to visit soon. If you like to write in notes with your Apple Pencil, you should know these two practical ticks. Activate in the pencil settings the option automatically refine handwriting to make your handwriting look nicer. If you draw something like for example a circle and hold it shortly, the shape will automatically be perfected. If you want to solve math problems, just write the problems in notes, put the equal sign and the problem will be solved. Often it has to go fast and information must be written down quickly. Therefore on the iPhone we go to the control center and add notes as a control. Now the note will be saved as a quick note and we find it here again in the notes app. Or on the iPad, if we start drawing on the dark screen, a quick note will also open. App Intelligence brings us some cool functions in the Notes app. We have the writing tools where we can generate text with help of ChatGPT, rewrite text or let it be generated into a column. Also, we can generate a picture from something we have drawn, like for example an apple or an heart. To make notes more clear and structured, there are some tips. 
I think everyone already knows about titles, headings and subheadings. But do you already know proportional? With that, a grey column is created in another font style and you can also color single words in different colors. How do you like Apple Notes? Do you find use for this app? Write it to me in the comments, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to not miss anything. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!